Yes, Coach, thank you very much for your time. Really, really appreciate it. Just wanted to touch base with you and everything. And firstly, you know, welcome back to the island. How are you and how's the family doing? <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing well. Obviously, great to be back uh, for Christmas and uh, see some family and friends. So, uh, wonderful. I mean, what's there not to love? Yeah, and now in terms of watching the World Cup for you, where does it stand for you in terms of other tournaments that you watched over previous years? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's an epic, epic match. Um, regardless of whatever the competition would, would have been, um, you know, to have that game in a World Cup final was fantastic. Let's be honest. I mean, if it was a Champions League or any other competition, but to have that match in a World Cup final was, uh, was unbelievable. And, you know, watching that tournament as a whole, at the back of your brain, you just say, you know what, I'd love to see the, the, my country, Jamaica, there one day in the future. <laughs> Yeah, and that, I mean, that's the goal, right? I mean, 2026 to, uh, to ensure that this is where, uh, you know, the country is on that. There's nothing, nothing's entitled, as we know, but um, to have the country there in, uh, in 2026, you know, uh, competing amongst the, uh, the best 48, 47 other countries uh, on the global stage would be fantastic. Yeah. And when you look at the platform that lies ahead, Nations League, Gold Cup, Pan Am Games, CAC Games, Copa America, they're, the opportunities are there to play and you know get a synergy and cohesion and everything. Yeah, they're building blocks. So obviously I think the, the idea is to, to formulate a pool of players that, uh, that, that go to look at and see where, where everything uh, kind of fits in in terms of the playing model and what he wants to probably look to do. Um, and then more importantly after that, it's going to be about uh, the team gelling. You know, coming together as a cohesive unit. I think that's that's really important as well. Yeah, and I mean, just putting the goalkeeping hat on for a moment. You know, Andre Blake still doing his thing in the MLS. You know, winning countless awards. Amal Knight is supposed to be on the move soon. The goalkeeping pool. Your thoughts about it generally? You know, moving forward, it's a, it's a deep pool moving forward in a sense. Yeah, to be fair, the last few years the pool has been really good, and that, that continues. The key though with the pool is that, uh, as you kind of referred to with, uh, with, with Amal is, is getting first team minutes, being able to play. Uh, there's no there's no substitute, like not being able to, to, to have a regular rhythm. And I think whoever the goalkeepers are, you know, regardless of the level, you, you've got to be able to play week in and week out. I mean, that's, that, that's what he prepares you for when you come into the national team. And I think uh, the pool is deep, and as long as the players are performing, and obviously what can you say about Mr. Blake, he's, you know, he's the best in the, in the region for sure. Um, so as long as you know, everyone is healthy, I think it will go well for the uh, next qualification cycle.